Hi everyone, this is Mithit from ffxivguild.com and welcome to our guide on Leviathan Extreme Mode. First, let's go over the skills from Leviathan's head. Dread Tide is a line attack that deals high damage. Tidal Roar is a raid-wide damage skill, it's a magic attack. Water Spout is an AoE attack that originates itself on the healers. Next are the skills from Leviathan's tail. Scale Dart is a single target attack. Tail Whip is a cone attack that has its damage shared among the targets. Briny Mirror is a debuff that is applied to whoever has aggro of the tail. Whoever heals the Briny Mirror target will have a debuff that reduces the range of their heals. Next we have Leviathan's mechanics. Two smaller Sahagan adds will spawn on the north or south ends of the platform. You can have either the off tank pick both up or let each tank pick one up. He cast Paralysis on a random party member, so don't forget to Isuna. After some time, these adds will start to cast Hydro Shot, which leaves an AoE on the floor and causes massive DOT. You should be able to kill these two adds before this happens. One large Zagan will spawn on either the east or west side of the platform. This ad casts two particularly nasty skills, which is Dread Storm and Dread Wash. Both skills cause Hysteria, which cause you to run around the room. To prevent this, have the off tank stun chain the ad after the third cast of Ruin. This should disable the ad for about 12 seconds. Gyrus Spooms are 4 yellow balls that will spawn in the corners of the platform and will start sucking power from the elemental converter. The longer these balls stay alive, the longer it will take for the converter to charge up. Be careful though, because killing a spoon will cause it to explode, dealing damage to the entire raid. If the elemental converter does not have enough charge, Tsunami will kill your party instantly. You need a charge of about 33, but 27 is also a survivable amount. You need to activate the device at the south end of the platform to be able to block Tsunami. At points during the fight, Leviathan himself will dive underwater. After a few seconds, he will then telegraph his location with a geyser at one of the edges of the platform, and then will do a spinning dive in that direction. During the dives, there will also be bubble AoEs that will originate on a player's position. The third telegraph of Leviathan is a body slam. This causes the entire platform to tilt in his direction and will cause your entire party to slide towards him. Here are some images to help you with spinning dive and body slam. Horizontal dives take a third of the platform, while vertical ones take half of the platform. Body slams will also only happen on one of these four locations. The skills and mechanics covered, let's go on to Leviathan's phases. Phase 1 is just a pull phase, DPS his head until he dives underwater. In phase 2, he splits into the head and tail. Please be reminded that the head reflects range damage while the tail reflects magic damage. These two happens in this order. Small adds, big add, gyrus boom, freebie phase which is the activation of the elemental converter. Dives and a body slam come in between these parts. In phase 3 the railings have been removed so body slam can kill you instantly and you cannot be rezzed. The order is just slightly different from phase 2 with the addition of wave spooms. Wave Spooms are the four blue balls that spawn and they will go towards the middle device. Have the off tank pick these up and drag the balls away from the raid. The reason for this is that when the balls explode, they deal damage depending on how close you are to the balls. So having them as far as possible from the raid causes the least amount of damage. You need to down him before the third tsunami because this is his enraged timer. And that's it for our guide on Leviathan Extreme. For a more detailed written guide, please visit our website at ffxivguild.com. Please don't forget to subscribe to our channel, like us on Facebook, and follow us on Twitter.